Just a quick video here on this Marineland 300 gallon. I picked up free that was leaking. The camera won't really focus here, but if you look, right here, this front panel is at least a quarter inch hanging off the bottom. And it gets worse as you go down. It's it, almost almost half the paint is completely off the bottom panel down there. And that didn't move. That was silicone on like that. Um, you know, the glass isn't cut to the right size. You feel at the back here, it's flush here. At the bottom, it's in a tiny bit. So, I mean, the whole, the whole, the sides of this tank were cut slightly too big to begin with. And they sent this tank out even though this fucking pane was hanging out that far off the bottom. Now, I'm not a professional, but I was under the impression that there should be a very small gap in between the panels. Like you want, I don't know, like to have a 30 second of an inch maybe, maybe even smaller, just so you have some good silicone in between the panes. These are pushed so tight together. I can't even get my fingernail in there, nor an exacto blade, nor anything I've tried so far, I'm trying to take it apart. Um, these are, are wedged completely together. So I gotta figure out how to get, to get something in between here so I can separate these. Um, so I can rebuild the tank, I'm gonna go and rebuild it from scratch because I mean, that's just, I, I, don't, I don't know, you can see right there, my, almost my entire tip of my finger is on the lip there, it's so hard to tell because the camera won't focus, but it's sticking about half, the half, the, half the glass is off the bottom panel, so no wonder why it sprung the leak right here on this front panel. This is where it sprung the leak. This whole panel let go along the bottom seam. So, that's marine land quality. This tank should have never have even left their, their shop or warehouse or whatever. It's pathetic.